Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an arms and legs workout for you. So when you're ready to get started, come to a comfortable seated position on your mat or come up onto your knees like I am here. Let's start by working the arms. So reach your arms up to the ceiling and then lower your arms back down. So you reach them up and lower down. We do this eight more times. Really try to press down with the heels of your hands as you lower your arms down, creating as much resistance through your body as you can. Really warming up our arms here and starting to generate lots of heat. Let's do one more. Beautiful, hold your arms out to the side, sweep your arms forward and out. So close your arms in and then open them out to the side. Nice inhale, close, exhale, open. Trying to move with intention here, using the resistance of your own body here to really activate through your arm muscles. And last one. Beautiful, hold your arms out to the side, flip your palms back and up to the ceiling. So you flip them back and up just eight more times keeping those arms up at shoulder height if you can rolling your shoulders down and back and really staying lifted through your chest on your next one hold your palms up and let's take 10 circles forward so that's eight seven six five four three two and reverse take it back nine eight seven six five four three two one well done flip your palms back and up to the ceiling again so repeating these little palm flips hopefully you're starting to feel the heat generating through your arms getting nice and warm Just two more of these. Last one. Hold your palms back and lift your arms up and up. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three. You can do it. Two and one. Hold your arms lifted. Press your palms back and back. Just eight more. Seven, six, ouch. Five, four, three breathe two and one well done give yourself a big hug shake it out if you need to and then let's come on to our glutes bend your knees take a nice inhale and exhale roll yourself all the way down to your mat keeping your knees bent walk your heels in towards your glutes and then reach your left leg up towards the ceiling pointing your toes Turn your left thigh out so that you're in a turnout position. Let's create big circles with our legs. So inhale, lower the legs straight down. Exhale, open to the side and lift up. Four more in this direction. Inhale, lower. Exhale, sweep to the side and lift. Two more. Trying to keep your hips nice and still. And now reverse it, open your leg to the side, bring it through center and straight up. Keeping your hips nice and still using the strength of your inner thigh muscles here. And last one, beautiful, hold your leg lifted. Let's flex our left foot now. Inhale, bend your knee, exhale, press. So you inhale, bend, exhale, press. As you extend your leg, I want you to think of pressing the heel of your foot up towards the ceiling, really activating through your inner thigh muscles. Just two more. Last one. Hold your leg straight, pulse the leg towards you for 10, nine, nice, exhale, and exhale, keeping that turnout. You've got five more, four, you can do it, 
three, two, and one. Well done. Release your left foot down. Let's extend our right leg up now, pointing your toe and turning your right thigh out. Inhale, lower the leg straight down. Exhale, sweep it out and back up. Keep your hips nice and still and use the strength of your core and the strength of your legs to perform the movement. Now reverse it or open the leg out to the side, bring it through center and straight up. Just four more. You've got it. Really extending through your right leg, reaching through those toes. Last one. Well done. Flex your right foot. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Really feel like you're pushing something away from you up towards the ceiling. Just four more. Three. Two. Last one. Now hold your leg straight, pulse the leg towards you for 10, nine, eight, hello inner thighs, six, you've got it, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Hug your knees in just for a moment and then lift both legs up towards the ceiling. Turn your thighs out, keeping your heels together and your toes apart. On your inhale, flex your feet, bend your knees into your chest. Exhale, press your legs away from your body and point your toes. So inhale as you flex, bend your knees. Exhale as you extend, pointing your toes. When you extend those legs out, I really want you to focus on squeezing your thighs together and squeezing your heels together. Just one more. Well done. Hold your legs extended, lift them up towards the ceiling. Inhale, open your legs wide. Exhale, flex your feet and close your legs together. So inhale, point and open. Exhale, flex and close. This one is super challenging. So just focus on your breath here. Nice, inhale, open and exhale close feeling a really nice burn through our inner thighs let's do two more and one more make it the best one yet beautiful keep your legs extended with your toes pointed and let's reach our arms up to the ceiling and take some crisscrosses with our legs. You crisscross, crisscross. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Hug your knees in. Maybe take some circles with those knees, whatever feels good for you. And then come onto the right side of your body. Press your left palm in front of your chest Wrap your right hand around your waist and using the strength of your arms on your exhale, press yourself up and inhale, lower back down with control. So you exhale, press up using the strength of your left arm and your left tricep. Inhale as you lower. Really try to control the lower of your upper body as much as you can forcing your left arm to really work. Just two more. And last one. Well done. Let's take our right hand behind our head now. Draw up through your navel and lift your left leg up so that it's at hip height or slightly above. On your inhale, bend your knee, extend the leg forward, exhale, sweep the leg back. So you inhale as you bicycle the leg forward, exhale, sweep the leg back. 
Just two more of these. Again, it's all about the control in our movements here. Now reverse it, inhale, kick the leg forward, exhale, bend, extend the leg back. So you kick forward, bend, extend back. Just three more. Last one. Beautiful, flex your left foot, pulse the leg forward two times and then sweep the leg back as you point your toes. So inhale, inhale, exhale, sweep the leg back. It's inhale, inhale, exhale, sweep the leg back. Really using the strength of our outer thighs here as well as our glutes. Two more. And last one. Well done. Hold your leg back. Tap your foot down two times, lift, then tap them two times forward and lift. So this is called our hot potato. You take two little taps behind your right foot and then two taps in front of your right foot. Trying to perform this as quickly as you can, but without sacrificing your good form. Last one. Now hold your leg lifted, flex your foot, and let's pulse the leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Prop yourself up and let's come straight away into the other side. So coming on to the left side of your body now, press your right palm into the floor in front of you and wrap your waist with your left arm. Exhale, press yourself up. Inhale, lower down. So press your right palm into the floor to really lift up through your upper body and control yourself all the way down forcing that right arm to really work. Use your breath to help you. Exhale as you press up. Inhale as you lower. Just two more. Last one. Well done. Let's release that left arm out now. Take it behind your head. Lift your right leg up and let's return to our bicycles. So inhale, bicycle the leg forward. Exhale, sweep the leg back. So you inhale, bicycle forward. Exhale, sweep back. Just two more in this direction. And now reverse it. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, bicycle the leg back. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, bicycle the leg back. Three more. Keeping that leg nice and lifted. One more. Beautiful, flex your foot. Let's pulse the leg forward two times and then point your toes and kick the leg back. So it's inhale, inhale, exhale, kick back. Inhale, inhale, exhale, kick back. You can do it. As you kick the leg back, really feel like you're reaching through your toes, extending through your right leg, creating beautiful length through your body. Two more. And last one, time for our hot potato. So tuck the foot down two times, lift, and forward two times, and lift. So tap forward, lift, tap back, lift. Just breathing naturally here. Again, trying to move as quickly as you can here, but not letting it sacrifice your good form. Really lift that leg up in between your taps to work that outer thigh. And last one. 
well done hold your leg lifted flex your foot and let's finish with some pulses up and up just eight more seven six five four three two and one well done prop yourself up and let's come into a push-up position now take your hands about mat distance apart and turn your fingertips slightly inwards on your inhale we lower slowly down into our push-up for one two three press up four so you lower down for one two three press up four lots of control here just two more last one beautiful now some normal speed push-ups inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift really lowering your body in one straight line using the strength of your arms and your chest muscles here you can do it use your breath to help you just two more last one well done lower yourself very slowly with control all the way down to your mat rest your forehead on the mat and bring your elbows out by your side in line with your shoulders draw your navel in towards your spine to protect your lower back on your exhale, lift your arms off the floor and inhale lower. Exhale, lift, inhale lower. So keeping your forehead rested on the mat here, we're just lifting our elbows and our forearms and hands up off the mat using the strength of our shoulders and using the strength of our upper back muscles. let's do two more last one hold your arms lifted lift your chest keeping your gaze down towards the floor on your inhale reach your arms forward exhale pull back then inhale reach your hands towards your toes and exhale re-bend your elbows so a little bit of a combo here you reach pull back reach back and bend your elbows inhale exhale inhale and exhale so one breath per movement here if you need to keep your forehead rested on the mat and just work the arms please do just two more you can do it last one hold your arms back with your palms down and let's take our forehead back down on the mat flip your palms up to the ceiling and down so you just flip up and down just eight more seven you can do it keeping those arms nice and lifted five four keep drawing up through your navel two more and last one hold your palms up towards the ceiling just lower the arms down to the mat and lift nice inhale lower exhale lift really reach your fingertips back towards your toes finding length through your arms as you lift them up you can do it you should feel a nice fire through the back of your arms here last one hold your arms lifted let's lift our chest and our head up again and pulse the arms to finish this is it you lift and lift just eight more seven six you can do it five final push four three two and one Woo! well done you are done for today's workout so press yourself up and press back into a well-deserved child's pose flip your palms up towards the ceiling to release any tension through your shoulders and just take nice deep inhales and exhales 
and shift forward your hands and your knees. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, arch your spine, look up. And again, exhale as you round. And inhale as you arch. On your next exhale, curl your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. Pedaling your heels if you need to, releasing any tension through the backs of your legs. Then looking up between your hands, take a big step forward with your right foot, lower your left knee, uncurl your toes. Press your hands into the top of your right thigh, lifting your chest as you sink your hips low, feeling a beautiful stretch for your left hip flexor. Then lower your hands down to the floor, shift your hips back, straightening your right leg, flexing your right foot. Inhale, lengthen through your spine and exhale, fold over your right leg. Shift forward back to your low lunge. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Bend your left knee and reach back for your left foot. Really pressing your foot into your hand first, feeling a nice stretch through your right shoulder. And then if you want to, draw your left heel in towards your glute. Carefully release. Bring your right hand back down to the mat and press back into a downward facing dog. Let's switch sides, step your left foot in between your hands, lower your right knee, uncurl your toes. Press your hands into the top of your thigh, lifting your chest, taking nice deep breaths. Then lower your hands down, press your hips back. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold. Shift forward to your low lunge. This time reach your left arm back, bend your right knee and see if you can hold on to your right foot. Pressing your foot into your hand first, finding an opening through your left shoulder and then drawing your heel in towards your glute if that feels good for you. Carefully release, take your left hand back down to the mat and press back into your downward facing dog. Lower both knees down onto the mat now, coming into your tabletop position. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread your left arm through the right, pressing your left shoulder down into the mat. Option to reach your right arm around behind your back, reaching towards your left thigh. Then carefully release your right hand back down to the mat press yourself up and let's switch sides inhale reach your right arm up exhale thread your right arm through the left option to wrap your left arm around your back reaching towards your right thigh breathing into this beautiful twist here Then release your left hand back down, press yourself up and shift your weight back onto your glutes. Finding a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat, sitting up tall, inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, side bend over to the left. And other side, inhale, left arm reaches up, exhale, side bend to the right. Then back through center, bring the palms of your hands together and just take a few circles in one direction, pressing the backs of your hands together and then your palms. And then reverse the circle, taking a few circles in the other direction to release any tension through our wrists. 
And then let's finish class today, like always, with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up to the ceiling. And exhale, hands come down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that quick little arms and legs workout. If you want to see more workouts like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you next time.